everybody. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. We're still having cold weather here down in the south. I hope that your weather is great where you are. Uh, we had a major ice storm come through here. Thankfully, it almost all of it missed our house. So we were so happy about that. So everyone's back to uh, work and school today, I think. So anyway, let's talk about zone two, our kitchen. Zone two in the Fly Lady system, I use the zones for my deep cleaning. So I don't have to go through any sort of deep cleaning during the year. I'm constantly doing a little bit here and there deep cleaning. And this is a great way to do things if uh, the words deep cleaning scares you. This is a way to take care of those uh, little nitpicky things once a month in, in our zone area. So zone two, the kitchen, that's where we are this week. Quick video just to mention this to you. If you will go to flylady.net, the, this is the Fly Lady Zone System, and if you'll go to sneak peek of the week, every single week she has a sneak peek of what's coming up, and she has missions there. This is the quickest way to find out things that you can do in your kitchen. I find that her missions get rather repetitive, and so instead of doing that, I just go in my kitchen and see what I need to do. But if you're starting out, her uh, missions may be extremely helpful to you. So I would suggest going to that and looking at it. So things that I would be doing in my kitchen this week, I would do a good thorough vacuum while I'm in the zone. I would do a good thorough mop. I actually did this yesterday. I vacuumed and mopped in there yesterday, did a good thorough job. Um, I pretty much wipe my counters down every day. I've mentioned we have cats. Our cats are everywhere. I have a, <laughs> I have a cat who lives in my kitchen and never leaves. So I pretty much wipe my countertops down at least once a day, sometimes more, unless I'm just in a super big hurry and not at home at all and not eating in there. Um, I might, you know, skip a day, but it's very rare that I don't just go ahead and wipe everything down in my kitchen. But if you're not wiping your counters down, if you don't have cats, and I know I clean for people and I can tell they're not wiping their counters down daily, and I'm not saying that to be ugly, it's just uh, real life. They don't have cats running around in their kitchen, so they're not worried about it. So um, I would suggest moving everything around so that you can do a deep wipe down of your kitchen cabinets, I mean kitchen counters, and you can add your cabinets in if you would like. You can do kitchen counter one day, you can do um, the cat wipe one side of your cabinets down one day, one side down the other day. I usually don't do all of mine all at once. Um, that's another deep cleaning thing. I've got ceiling fans in my kitchen. We actually have two ceiling fans so I could get up on a uh, step stool and I could work on my ceiling fans. So I've got two, so I could do one one day and one the other if, if I didn't feel like doing it all at one time. The idea is to do this in little chunks. So five to 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much you have, how much time you have in this area a day and you all your deep cleaning in your kitchen will be done for a whole month. And then next month, whatever you didn't get to this month, you can move to it next month. And week two is always kitchen. And then so week two, you could just go back into your kitchen next month and whatever you missed this month, you can work on it next month. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's progress, not perfection. That's what Fly Lady always says. She's trying to get us away from perfectionism and doing a little at a time and getting it done. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have, my cat is just screaming. I put her in the other room and shut the door and she's very unhappy, but if she's in here, she's screaming right in my face. So pardon little Mila, she can't control herself. She's just a doll, but my word, she's loud. Anyway, very quickly, um, just wanted to mention this to you that this week is Zone 2 The Kitchen and that's what I'm gonna be working on this week. Also, you can do some decluttering by zones and I went through that last week. I did a um, an 80 plus decluttering just a few days ago and, and uploaded that video. Mila, really? So um, anyway, you can check that out if you would like. But what I'm probably gonna tackle in my kitchen this week, I have a kitchen drawer. I've decluttered in there forever and I have one drawer with a bunch of recipes that I've just thrown in there and other random scrap pieces of paper and I'm gonna commit to going through that drawer this week and getting that straightened out. There's probably 90% of that stuff needs to be thrown in the trash because clearly if it's shoved in a drawer, I'm not using it. So I do have a little recipe book in there I do use, but probably a lot of the other stuff needs to go. So I'd say at least 80% needs to go. All right, talk to you later, you guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.